Wait, guys. <laughs> I just realized the dog on the wall is like the, this is fine while everything's burning around him dog. Bro, that has to be a reference to that. It's so cool. I've also just recently discovered the Bang Boos have this butt plug looking thing. What is the purpose of the plug? I do not know. Maybe it's their off switch in the booty. Ah, uh, but yeah, we're gonna be doing Coleta's story quest today. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I really want Coleta to tell one of these kids, give me your lunch money. My father walked out on me. She would never do that, Monk. How could we say that? Cool. I don't see it. I want Coleta to bring a hammer to the classroom. She's helping Molly clean the black. Oh! Wait, I don't know why I was getting thug bully vibes. She looks so wholesome. This is also the only environment where she's probably the tallest person in the scene. She's even taller than my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, homete homete. Thou shorties will never be on my level. I'm tall. <laughs> <laughs> class reunion in like 20 years bro she's gonna be the shortest person there it's fine though coleta makes your head more easy to head pat yes she's an idiot madam i'll have you know she can do your taxes wait no i forgot coleta's horrible with numbers and shit she has a bit of a strength build going on you damn brats just you wait yo she broke the eraser with just her grip strength Bro, Coleta would be such a good gym, bro. Oh my god. He'd be your spotter, roast you constantly. Yeah, that is the kind of support you need. Yes, Coleta. Yo, this door. What are we in? Like a witch's classroom? <laughs> Sit down, children. Good morning, my dear human children. <laughs> when the alien disguises themselves as the substitute teacher. <laughs> Good morning, humans. <laughs> I mean, children. It's snack time. We've got pineapple buns today. Wait. <laughs> I think I'm kind of jumping the gun, but is that Grace? She has the appropriate booba size. Thank you, Miss Grace. Yes! God has graced the classroom with grace. <laughs> what the hell is that? Wait, this is Colana's first time seeing professional grace. You guys ever have that moment with like one of your friends where you're so used to seeing them act like a dumbass, but then you're in like a professional setting and they're a completely different person. You're like, oh, you can act normal. That's cool. <laughs> we're going to Lumina Square, kids, and we're even doing a choir. Yeah. <laughs> Coleta don't sound too happy about some high school musical activity. But wait, why does Grace look so cute in this kind of outfit, bro? You almost forget the obsessive machine tendencies. Someone's knocking at the door. I feel like Coleta has the sense that somebody's talking about her brother. Hey, don't look bored already. I'll make it short. <laughs> You'll make it. Short, huh? The principal didn't report the hollow and didn't apply for hollow compensation either. I love how since hollows just randomly pop up, instead of the home insurance plan, you have hollow compensation. <laughs> Certain reasons. Grace and I had to infiltrate the school in disguise to get access to the only entrance to the hollow. <laughs> Coleta's disguise for the elementary school <laughs> was to be an elementary school student. <laughs> The uniform worked amazingly, Coleta. I'm sure Grace was really happy to see that shit. Step one, infiltrate the school, sneaky weaky. Step two, get them kids to the damn Lumina Square. Step three, fist the hollow nearby. Step four, love and peace, my brothers. Aren't you a teacher right now? <laughs> Can you leave your character along with that dress at home? Coleta, are you saying teachers can't have machine fetishes? It's fine, girl. You know the amount of weird substitute teachers there are out there? <laughs> so, little Coleta, how about you call me Teach and help me get back into character? Yeah, Coleta, you're the boss lady. Incentivize your employee. <laughs> Grace has been waiting her whole life for this, Coleta. Don't let her down. Miss Grace? <laughs> what? There's three students hiding because they had a fight. If we don't find them, we can't do the choir. This feels like a 30-year-old lady trying to sound like a 10-year-old boy. I do respect the effort. So can Coleta go and find them with this pro... With this <laughs> 
This is the most irresponsible substitute teacher thing you can do. You're just leaving one of your students with a super hacker? Little Kaleida. <laughs> Miss Grace is appointing you as the leader of your little team. Yes, elementary school student. This adult will follow your every command. Who the hell wants to be the leader of a team with just one member? Wait, Kaleida, you don't want to be my boss? <laughs> I'm so sad right now. Look at the emotional distress on Belle's face. Sensei Belle is here to pry that brain open like a tuna casserole. Okay, now that we see Kaleida next to the normal children, I am seeing some, uh potential discrepancies. But it's fine, kids are imaginative. They'll believe anything, as long as you bribe them with cookies. I feel like this girl's main character trait is talking about different breakfast foods. But yes, cornflakes are fire, my girl. Also, I was distracted that whole conversation because of this chunky boy, you thick ass. It even jiggles when he stretches, adorable. Now this child's asking the philosophical answers of the universe right now. Why is there never any pineapple? inside a pineapple bun. Honestly, it's because it's artificial bullshit. How is that gonna trigger a nervous breakdown? <laughs> I think that was a really deep question. It's like when you're in the shower and you're asking what is the point of humanity? Thank you, Coleta. You've truly given me much food for thought. <laughs> Get it? Because we're talking about pineapples. Why are these five-year-old children running around downtown in New Eridu? It's like letting random kids run around downtown New York. Yachty is my partner, don't you know? He takes me to the water park let's go. Kaleida, drop a beat, let the kid cook. <laughs> I love the transition from rapping to just full out the girl crying her eyes out. These kids went into a hollow exploring. Ooh, y'all have the potential young ones to be main characters when you're older. So with Coleta's arrival, there's a child named Emmy who is abandoning ship. Don't you just love starting a conversation? Then the other person's like, question, what's the amount? <laughs> Who is this sassy lost child? You borrow her hand sanitizer and clean your hands. Now screw the teacher, your friends are looking for you. I've never seen lyrics this cringe before. Girl, you're like five. I swear the further we progress as a society, the younger kids are gonna be when they start talking slang. You're gonna have two year olds who know how to cuss before they can even walk. Oh, yeah, she cares about her friendship, see? Don is so pissed, go make up with him. Guys, in this picture, who do you think is the most important? <laughs> Both the kids on the side look dead inside, bro. If you're afraid of Emmy getting taken away by new friends, you should transfer with her. <laughs> Leisha ships it, doesn't she? She's like, go after the girl of your dreams, young man. Even if I transfer, we'll still be BFFs. You ever just leave somewhere and you're like, we'll stay in touch, bro. Five years pass. Hey, what happened to that one guy? <laughs> because I was so scared I'd make you too mad. I'm more invested in these kids' drama than I am my own life. This is so good. Uh-oh. It looks like she heard you. Square up, lass. I heard you were talking schmack. Let me teach you what we do to people like that in the construction industry. Imagine like the parent-teacher interview. Coleta just brings two big-ass grizzly bears with her. Oh, fudge. The principal... I'm gonna hide for now, Proxy. <laughs> I'm gonna check on things in a bit. The principal comes. Wait a minute. You're not in proper school uniform, young lady. <laughs> and then the second realization. Wait a minute. You're a grown ass adult. I love how only three of them have names on top of them. Highlighting, yes. Only three of them are important. <laughs> also, you're the principal? You look like you're dressed for like a call center job. He probably sells air conditioners as a side hustle. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> mm, beautiful singing, yes. <laughs> now that voice with that smile, I'm sorry. He's giving me Stranger Danger vibes. Let's hurry and steal his keys and get out of here, baby. Good. Very good. Mm, everyone is in sync. What the f- No! <laughs> <laughs> the way he's analyzing this choir performance is kind of sus, I'm not gonna lie. Miss Grace? W why are you so close? Ooh. You weren't this outgoing during the interview. Grace, he might be on to us, Mama. Distract him with your assets. I think Miss Grace just wanted to help you dust them off. Yes, Emmy! <laughs> I've never seen an eight-year-old with this kind of assist powers. She's low-key already better at socializing than Grace is. Yes, it's, it's chalk. 
I accidentally got Chuck on me. He's so sus. Don't leave him alone with the children. He probably wants the Hollow to suck into school so he can collect the insurance money. As a principal, it's normal for there to be chalk on my clothes. No, it's not. It would be stranger if there wasn't any chalk. Belle has my face right now. Do you know how rare it is for principals to go into a classroom? But why the hell would you have chalk on your damn suit? Miss Grace, your <laughs> outfit is strange. <laughs> teacher and, and a model to your students. What do you have to say for yourself? The sad part is we cannot deny this statement. <laughs> like Grace, what happened to the sexy office lady outfit in the cutscene? Nothing is just black or white. Most of us are shades of gray. Dude, this guy speaks so much like a villain. <laughs> Belle's face has been angry for like three minutes now. <laughs> Kids, it's been a wild ride. Emmy, I'll see you again soon. To the rest of you, I doubt we'll ever meet again. I can already tell that sussy principal is about to be the final boss. Cole later, it's time to go to school. We're gonna be doing some extracurriculars, like a beat in that hollow ass. Cole later, remember, you have to be a good influence to the kids, so kill them peacefully. Cole later, press the red thing. Oh, I miss the train tracks though, when we used to put bombs on trains. <laughs> A gentle hammering. If at first you don't succeed, pound it until it eventually busts. No, I've never liked that principle. <laughs> I honestly think he's in this for the insurance money, because we talked about it before, right? Not great at dealing with adults who are so... Adult-like. <laughs> I never get what they're thinking. Wait, that's so true. colette has been surrounded by weirdos her whole life. She doesn't know how to handle the normal people. Coleta, smash! Why can't we break walls every time Coleta's on the party game? What blasphemy is this? Look at how symmetrical the area has become. How much you want to bet all this dust in the air is just like that chalk on the principal's clothes just now. Damn, usually we like delay the reveal. But now they're just like, ah, oh, nah, he's obviously the bad guy. Listen to how he talks, dog. He's turned this hollow into a ticking time bomb. And right next to the school, too. What about the children, principal? Don't you care about their futures and their parents' money? <laughs> Why, hello, you swell vagrants. <laughs> Love and peace, my brothers. <laughs> okay, I guess not. Principal, I know you're up here. Show yourself. <laughs> if it isn't the president of Bellabog Industries, Miss Bellabog. It has been a while. Or should I call you? Dun dun dun! My good sir, you think you had the element of surprise? You don't know how the child's mind can beat that ass. Cry a bit. Let go of your unnecessary sense of justice and forget all that happened here. Okay, dude, I'm not even gonna lie. This guy's voice actor is pretty good. <laughs> like, it's unnerving. He talks so softly and villainously. Dude, look at his eyes. They look so menacing. Should I give him a call and mention Bellabog Heavy Industries? Yo, hook us up, bro. Respect. <laughs> Coleta, he's an adult. He must have something planned up his ass. Oh. Welcome back, President Kaleida. What do you mean, welcome back? We chased you down the block. Yes, we are very angry right now. <laughs> I feel like a tired office worker trying to meet their deadlines at a cafe, and there's a crying child that just won't shut up. Dude, the fact that he's not showing anger at all is so good. He's the perfect example of morally desensitized adult. Wait, is this kid the girl that's transferring? Because that would make sense. <sighs> Wait! <laughs> Damn it! My asthma's acting up! Curse me! And my office worker's stamina! Ah, damn it! Damn it! Can you tell by her voice that Coleta's upset? Because justice isn't being fulfilled! He'll be in prison soon, I promise! Over here! Oh, shit! This way. Did she not trust the principal from the start? <gasps> Chad moment! Why is she here? Can you track her coordinates wise? They were talking about how they used to sneak into the hollow. It must have been this one, because it's right behind the damn school. I wasn't expecting a quest called Back to School to be this intense, I'm not gonna lie. But now it's time to say farewell school. <laughs> Get it? Because that's the title of the story quest. <coughs> we can only use Colada? I don't think so, God. Just in case, I brought Anton, Ben, and Grace with me. Yo! <laughs> She brought the whole cartel. I imagine if Anton sees this fucking principal, he's about to drill his booty. By that, I mean punch him in the face. Hey, everyone. And Miss Grace. <laughs>
<laughs> if we want to find the three missing kids, we need as much help as we can get. We have to save the children from the clutches of the evil principal. So this is how it feels to be called that by a bang <laughs> Wait, I forgot we're in the Bang Boo body, yes. But nah, it's wholesome. This is a PG-13 game. We'll need to split up and check each of them in turn. All right, we'll split up and look for clues. Bellabog Industries, you go right. Me and Coleta will go left because it's her quest. My ADHD ass loves breaking everything in sight and making everything black. He come into the Bang Boo's embrace. By that I mean insertion is the best way to your heart. Guys, if you couldn't tell, between part two and three, I had a bit of God's juice. Real question, do ethereals have teeth? If they do, remove them. With our gun! Coleta has made me appreciate the art of hammering things. Bear, you scratch on brick. Assist Coleta in demolishing walls faster. You gotta love parent and daughter cooperation. Oh snap, it's the important child right away! Thank you for saving me, but why are you here? Emmy, I have a confession to make. We're not a student. We're the president of a construction company. <laughs> Even after wearing that uniform with your pineapple bun, trying to be a kid with your silly high-pitched voice? <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing about that roast is literally everything she said is just facts. Now she wholesomely dismantled you, Coleta, you cinnamon bun. You do look pretty similar to that jerk. Hey, yo, Coleta, you're supposed to be the adult. Don't roast the children. We just saved her from inevitable death. It's good. Shut up! I'm nothing like him! I take after mom. Yes, Emmy! Screw the dead Pete Dev! I want Emmy to be playable in version 5.7, please. I'm not so good at figuring out father-daughter stuff. <laughs> Get it? Because her dad walked on. I'm just kidding. Chorus is a Chad. He started getting into arguments with mom. I didn't know why. Because he's doing illegal activity and mommy is like, no, we have a child. How could you do this? He's like, shut up, bitch. Was dirty. Like covered in that gross dust. The kind of dirty you can't ever wash out. Ooh. No matter how hard you try. Oh, oh God. Okay. This child has such good moral ethics. It leads me to believe that her mom is such a good person. There are other kids lost in here besides Oh me. no, Emmy doesn't know her besties are in danger. Bro, she is gonna roast the heck out of her dad when she finds out he's behind this. It's all my fault. They came because they were worried about me. I need to find them. It's my responsibility. Oh, yo, this kid is such a Chad. Now, nah, besides for your girl in Lycon's quest, this might be my favorite NPC. She's gonna take responsibility. Do you know how many adults don't even do that shit? Yes, Emmy. No way. You look stupid. <laughs> Typical sister behavior. Yes, Rose Coletus fit. I like the pattern, but I feel like it could use a little bit of finesse in the thug department. Excuse me? Classic family bonding. Hey guys, editing bonk here with a quick message. The edits for this video end right here. I did want to do as much as I could because I am going away for the next four and a half days-ish, give or take. I'm going on a little birthday retreat, gonna be a good time. I just realized me and Coleta actually share the same birthday. Just kind of wild. It's August 9th right now, but I'm gonna schedule it for August 10th, just for birthdayception. But yes, with that in mind, guys, unedited for the rest, but enjoy regardless, and I'll see you in the update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, use the choir code words to communicate with your besties. Child, what are you doing in the graffiti zone? Don't you ethereals have jobs? To assert dominance, I will kill you. No restrictions, fire at will. Snack that smiles back, save the children. Dan, fret not for your esophagus has not been eaten yet, my child. Children, you have been saved. Now play guess who, as I murder one of your fathers. Scouts back, so the carrot's still good. What's with that face? <laughs> Bro, he's had the same blank ass expression this entire quest. Huh? Oh. Yeah, he's distracted by the thoughts of his morality being corrupt. You could have been a normal principal at a normal school. But look what happened, beta cuck, sir. Starting to regret everything now? Yeah. <laughs>
It's time to repent for your sins, daddy. Shift the blame? I don't know what you're talking about. He's not shifting the blame, Colena. He's doing what we call a bitch move by ignoring the blame. A lovely young lady just so happened to receive a significant payment to their account. And they weren't my wife. At least, not now. Where he's doing good, trying to help the family, but they left him for the things he's doing to help the family, because it's illegal. Oh. So even children know it's wrong, but grown-ups don't? <laughs> that was Loki kind of a double roast. She roast Colena by calling her a small, but also roasted her daddy for having a poor moral code. Daddy, wh why are you here? Because you fucked up, daddy. Almost getting your own daughter killed, the audacity. I wanted to ask you something, Dad, but I don't need more. I don't need to ask. I've seen why mother left your ass. Why would you do this when you knew it could put me and my friends in danger? Uh. <sighs> there we go. Finally, he doesn't know what to say. That is what we call the smile of regret. Life choices flashing before his eyes before he eventually commits toast to bath. You, nothing is... You can't... <laughs> We have to view these things in separation. He doesn't know how to be a father figure right now. Ooh, it's because he knows he's wrong. This is kind of sad. He's trying to give his daughter the advice, but he can't because he know he fucked up. What are you roaring about? <laughs> you, just because you're big, you don't have to pay attention to what others are saying. Can't you see this daughter and father are having a moment? <laughs> How about you mind your damn business? Okay, I honestly think this guy could kind of be redeemed. So touched that I've decided to rethink my actions <laughs> and become a better person. <laughs> or whatever. Did you really think that's what I was going to say? I kind of did, but you fucking, you betray my expectations. I thought he could be a good person, why? If you hadn't dragged my daughter into this, she wouldn't be in any danger. Bitch, bro, none of this would be happening without your scrodilliumptious evil ass. The president of Bellabog Industries fakes her identity to lure a young girl into a hollow. Bro, what the hell is the context of your false claims? Shifting the blame again? Truly, very adult-like peasant bitch. Ugh. This is the one instance where I will justify a child running away from home. Go live with your mama. Who cares if he got custody of your ass? If you say you want to go with your mom in court, they'll listen. I know growing up and becoming rotten are two completely yeah, different things. Yeah, I love it. A person is a jerk because they want to be a jerk. Right, jerk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's cooking. She doesn't have to make it complicated like this, man. Nah, he is roasting on a rotisserie right now. He is a jerk waffle at his core. Daddy will apologize to you and your mother. Let's just go home. He knows he's wrong, but he's not gonna fix himself because his pride is too fucking high. Like the first step is there, but he's not gonna be willing to take the second step if we don't beat his ass a bit. Later, what should I do? Yes, ask, <laughs> ask big sister for advice. Yes, Emmy. Y you're asking me? <laughs> From your expression. You're wanting to take Emmy back with you. Yes, Colena, recruit this child to Bella Bog Industry. Everyone, the hollow environment is shifting. We should get out of here. <laughs> I love how we didn't even get the dad's approval and we're just taking his daughter. Excuse me, it's rude to call me a jerk in front of my daughter. <laughs> oh my good sir, I think we're well past the point of common decency, punk ass. <laughs> Actually just saw the other day, Lycon chilling with the girl from his quest. So is Coleta gonna chill with Emmy sometimes, please? Coleta? You've actually caught two friends? <laughs> Whatever, give me your hand. Wait, they're so cute together. They're both equally savage and spunky. Sis, you actually have friends. Wash thoroughly and scrub for at least 30 seconds. I love how Emmy is low-key the big sister. Constantly trying to educate her older sister up in this bitch. If you're hoping to hear that my dad was punished and is at home repenting, You'll be disappointed. Ah, the classic adult gets away with his crime. But I'm hoping Emmy is at least with her mama up in this bitch. I'm living with my mom now. Yes! I just found out what was going on over there, too. We don't care about dad and his uh, bullshit. He's eventually gonna get himself killed. It's okay. For a public school this time, though, it seems like it's a Topps Company-affiliated school. Ooh! <laughs> 
He's with the evil tops now. Bro, everyone who goes to tops, I'm labeling as the enemy at this point. I kind of like how this is wrapping up. Again, this game is very realistic. They don't just throw the bad guys in jail. Nah, he actually kind of got away with it. It's so good. I want nitro fuel. <laughs> Why do I feel like that is the G fuel of this universe? Yes, truly a gaming moment, Emmy. Hey, if you start drinking nitro fuel at your age, it's going to stunt your growth. Look at the small Emmy. Don't you want to be an Ada Ada mommy when you're older? <laughs> <laughs> we don't need a cutscene. We just need them looking at the sunset. Yo, you're adorable, Emmy. Please, be her younger sister. I just feel like we went through all that. But in the end, it didn't even mean anything. No, it did. You have a new family member. You don't even realize it. Yeah, after all, my dad didn't even go to jail. <laughs> Bro, Emmy is so adult, and she even looks like Fischl in this scene. She's like, yeah, my dad belongs in the slammer. Get his ass out of here. Is suddenly getting all sad and emotional a grown-up thing, too? <laughs> Game, I swear, give Emmy 10 years, she is gonna be a queen of some big-ass company. Bro, absolute Chad. I don't think what you did was meaningless. After all... Me and my classmates are safe now, thanks to you. Dude, Kalena, you have no idea the kind of unit you just helped raise. And become an adult. Not an adult like my dad, but an adult like Kalena. <laughs> that fucking warms my heart, bro. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, I can be a mom someday. <laughs> you gotta become an even greater adult than I am. Got it? She's like, why are you touching my head, bitch? <laughs> God, the sister energy is so real. I love it. With my genetics, I'm going to be at least 170 centimeters. That's at least 30 centimeters bigger than you, Colada. You're going to have to look up to your sister in the future. This is such a wholesome bonding experience. I love it. We can just walk away at this point. Uh, here. Uh, half seats? If, if you want it. <laughs> I never thought I would hear the thuggest character say half C. <laughs> this in its own way is a form of growth, yes. Solid quest overall. With that in mind, guys, this is going to be the last video till the update on, I think, Tuesday? So three days without a video, not too bad. With that in mind, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one. Peace.